Mario, you know, frequent player at MSM, yeah. uh, starting to come to Wednesday Night Fights a little bit more, uh, especially with um, the attendance, like, starting to increase here on Wednesday Night Fights. I'm starting to see uh, more of the higher level players come out, too. Yeah, it's a great spot to practice at, for sure. Getting into this game one, just gonna be a slobber knocker here from these two. Already, you know, 40 to 60 percent in the first 20 seconds. Both Ooh. players very apt at just getting an opening and taking it for a mile. Mm -hmm. Okay, down air clipping. You see these percents fairly even. Now, I always like to call refer to Master Mario as the the wild card uh, of the, yeah. the SoCal Mario's because you really, you never really know when he's gonna like really turn on the wild and just start throwing out crazy options, but they seem to work. But good snipe from Razo, that's gonna uh, earn him his first stock of the night or of the set. Oh, he gets a soft hit back here, but not able to follow up. In fact, Master Mario with the revenge, a couple up airs into an up B. And then gives him the hot hands. Yeah, great anti-air right there. Says, you know what, Peach likes to be in the air. I, I see you try to jump into me quite a bit. I'm just going to angle this forward smash up. Take that quick start. Mm -hmm. Okay, gets the grab out of a dash dance, but also able to punish or pummel out. And that's a stitch face. That stitch face did a lot of work. What? Uh, I think it was a winky face. Was it a winky face? I, I mean, just with the, the amount of launch ahead, it kind of looked like a stitch face. But whatever. Oh, triple nair from down tilt. And not even laying up, getting the down tilt reset afterwards. 83% onto Master Mario right now. And Master Mario answering back, getting a combo of his own. And now, ooh, that was like prime position for another forward smash from Master Mario. Yeah, Master Mario's ledge trapping here has been pretty solid. He misses that one, but he does get the forward smash and resets Razo onto the ledge here. What's the play going to be? Master Mario looking for the roll, but Razo not going to give it to him. Yeah. Oh, but a good run of pivot up smash. Going to give him the... Hits him with the back of the head. And Razo finds himself on his last oh stock, but God. the crown is too strong. He you forwarded through the fireball, extended the hitbox and was able to end that game. You have to respect royalty. Respect them. Respect the crown, baby. That's Mario's thinking a little bit. So I hope you're all enjoying Wednesday Night Fights here tonight. You know, we have a lovely stream like, like we do every week. Level Up always puts on a good show. We'll get, to, we'll get to that a little bit later. We get into game two uh, on Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, I think this is honestly a really good stage for Mario. We, we, you know, we've been seeing recently these platform extended combos where he's able to get the kill off the top work perfectly on Pokemon Stadium 2. Just like that, no great air dodge for Razor, but already sitting at 95% on answer. He does get an opening. It's a down throw. Oh, and that reverse up air is going to be able to actually break Razo from uh, any aggression. Good flow cancels for mix up of the movement. All right, yeah. Razo looking to find an opening, trying to even up this percent, but Master Mario right now looking very hot against Razo. And see up smash. That's what I'm expecting from Master Mario. I'm seeing a lot of up smashes, especially with the way that Peaches like to float around their opponents. That big. Uh, hip, just curve of a hitbox will, you know, give him a lot of space. Ooh, great turn up once again. Razo just had to do a great job of putting you right where they need to be. Watch your shield, Razo. I love that he held it for long enough that he was able to stay alive, but Masamaro just chose to hold it. I don't know that Razo would have ever rolled away. Well, with that 54%, Answering right back with an F smash. Raz is going to be able to, or Master Mario is going to be able to even up the stocks. Yeah, that was a little ambitious from Razo. You know, we saw him grab ledge, drop, and try and use the side beat. But because it missed, he was forced to re -grab. There was nowhere for him to go, and Master Mario knew. You see Master Mario starting to use the cape a little bit more. And that's a smart idea, just because, well, Raz has been sniping him with, uh, with turnips off stage. Hey, down throw. Oh. 
Yeah, it's a forward air. I was totally expecting the forward air. Yeah, I think everyone in the mother that has ever watched Smash Bros. was ready for the forward air. Razo himself included, he was not going to get hit. Okay. Okay. Up air to get Razo off the platform. Using his own back air, making himself be able to land on stage. The Dragon Ball trade. Both players getting sent across the stage. But using the Flood to just give back stage control. Oh, the fire just to fire to give up ledge. And now the ledge trapping begins once again. Oh, oh. no, no ledge trapping necessary. Raza without jumpy is going to up be a little bit too low. Yeah, and that's a uh, product of the fireball actually connecting, putting Razo and hits done just enough so he wouldn't be able to make it back to stage. But we see a single up air and Razo able to escape the up air train. And forward throw, Master Mario off stage once again. The air dodging past that turn up. I am Master Mario doing a great job right now, just keeping his lead, throwing these fireballs out and drifting away so he can't get hit by an extended forward air like the last game. And you see Razo setting up the traps to really uh, put up a wall a, a in front of the ledge. He's using the traps, but a dash attack connects onto Master Mario. And we have even socks once again. Alright, Razo finds his down air, pops him up into the mirror as well, but he isn't able to find the big combos that we're expecting from him. Late hit of the back as well. That's Mario just answering back with the back throw. Down tilt at the ledge, and both players going for a grab. But up, oh, the down air did not connect with the last hit. Very unfortunate for Master Mario. And now he's getting, taking a, a little bit of percent for that. Big forward air connecting onto Master Mario. And using the turn oh. up to block the ledge again. Oh, the forward air does whiff. All right, this is down to the wire. Uh, Interesting photo from Masamaru, it's not going to connect. And now Razo has him off stage, gets the turn up, not going to find another one. Goes for the trap at the ledge, doesn't find Masamaru, now spacing with these backers. One going to force him off stage, goes for a second one to get the kill, but he doesn't find it. Masamaru catches the roll on, he is there first with the up smash. Yeah, it looks like they were both trying to throw out an up smash, <laughs> but Masamaru just came out first. Yeah. Master Mario able to seal out game two after a bit of a scramble situation at the ledge. Yeah, definitely down to the wire, but we are going to see game three right now between these two. This is winner semi, so it's best of five. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this definitely could have been a very different set for Master Mario right now. Oh, oh okay. I got excited for nothing. You know, Peach, Pichu, you got confused. It happens. I, I guess. What happened to Daisy? He used to main Daisy. Uh, I think people found out there was something different about the turnips that features was better. Uh, yeah, I think she's able to kill. Yeah, her is the killer. I, I have to ask Raza, but there her, was something. The combo game. There was with something her about Peaches. Peach's turnips that were better, so we've been using her a little bit more. I'm so ashamed of him. He dropped Daisy. I don't think he dropped Daisy. It sounds like he dropped Daisy. Have you seen Daisy today? He dropped Daisy. Whoa, good job taking Razo off the top after getting the platform extension. I don't know, the feature not looking too hot in this game three. Maybe the Daisy needs to come back out. I'm just saying, you know, Daisy Daisy is a lady, and uh, Mario would not treat Daisy like that. Okay, forward airs. Uh, you see Razo spacing out those forward airs, and he's really just trying to look for his way in, but Master Mario is playing very defensive. Using the fireball, making it very difficult to approach. Oh, gets the cross up with the back air. I know Master Mario just spacing out with these fireballs. He knows that he doesn't have to approach. Razo does ha have the you know duty to. And when he's spacing with these fireballs, it's very difficult to approach because he can just follow up behind it with an aerial or a grab. Did you see how far that flood pushed Razo? He pushed it from one side of the stage to the other. And you know how much work that Flood's had to do so far? Of course that thing's got some power to it. Okay, well, back throw. It's going to even up stocks, but now we see Arazo getting his, uh, getting grabbed himself. That down tilt from Peach is actually really long. <laughs> it just stretches yeah. so far. Yeah, that thing goes for a little ways, and it's such a great opening tool. 
Raz are going to be using it plenty to try and find his, you know, combos. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just a good poking tool. Even if your opponent wants to sh sit and shield, you know what? All right, you know, catch his yeah. heels, dog. Eventually, he'll shield poke or something, and you know, it's kind of, it's pretty long. It's pretty quick, not that easy to punish. Mm -hmm. But a forward air does connect onto Masmar. It's always oh, recovering high, able to avoid the turn up. Oh, we see another charge up smash onto Razo's shield. Razo not afraid. He knows that unless the shield's pretty low, it's not going to break. Both players spacing out their, their moves. Couple up smashes on Razo's shield. And Razo is looking really comfortable. Oh, but oh, a shield poke back here. That's right. And Razo getting caught with that shield poke is going to give Master Mario the advantage. That. Master Mario is so smart to recover with the fireballs. The fireball eats up the turnip. Wow, that's actually a really great you know, thing to point out. It's going to be huge in this matchup. These projectiles. Sorry, where did Master Mario go? Oh, he just disappeared. And there's that wild card. Even at 50%, getting a nair and then running off stage for the forward air. Trying to use uh, trying to catch Razo by surprise. Uh, Razo has to be careful how he lands right now. He is able to find his footing once again, but Master Mario just not relenting with these fireballs. Mm -hmm. Getting a dash grab, but I guess he was expecting Razo to to roll right there. The dash attack covers. Uh, it stays out so long, it's actually really good just to cover a few options. Down tilt, still amazing at the ledge. As it pops up your opponent just not too far up, and you're able to follow up easily. All right, Razo has Master Mario in the air right now. This could be his one opening. Three up airs for Gets the forward throw off stage. Calls out the jump at the air dodge into this let platform, rather. Okay, and Master Mario chucking more fire. He's looking for his way back on stage. Oh, he actually connected with the fireball, but then he's actual air dodge. What is Razo doing down there? He jumped up and air dodge for some reason, so he is on the ledge. But once again, he is, you know, in advantage here. He has Master Mario at the ledge. Great parry, up smash, not going to punish the forward air. Oh, but another up smash connects for Master Mario. And that's a, this, that up smash for Master Mario was like his MVP move. Yeah, but I he must, he backed this, that up smash in Smash 4 so many times. I want to point out though how smart that was from Master Mario because he crossed up Razo's shield with the down air just before it. So Razo sees him jumping in in front of him and says, oh, well, I could shield grab as a punish. But all of a sudden, Master Mario's behind you. That's the end of your stock. 2-1 for Master Mario. Yeah, just showing just, you know, shield grab isn't as powerful in this game as it was in previous iterations. Uh, so, you know, even though it looks like shield grab, or at least like, you know, we've been conditioned for, for yeah. as, you know, years for shield grabbing opponents who land like right in front of us, that actually might be a bit of a bait. But standing on Kalos, this is uh, Razo's second counter pick. I'm actually kind of surprised because it seemed really dominant for Master Mario up until the end where Razo started to make a bit of a comeback, but even then wasn't able to close it out. There's the platform extension, but great DI from Razo. Going to just keep himself far enough away that Master Mario is not comfortable attempting for the upbeat. Yeah, even in that position with the way that Razo was DIing, even if Master Mario did use the up B, it would have only been damage and not the, not the stock. I think Master Mario is looking for an opportunity to, in case he does find himself in a position where up air can convert into up B, that it would be a kill. and Or at least a, a lot more safe. <laughs> okay, up smash, but the drift back Peach Bomber. Back air is going to force Master Mario off stage, recovering with these fireballs, but again, it's eating the turnips that Peach is throwing at. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for the up smash. Where's the up smash, Master Mario? Oh, maybe it's a back air. The way he's jumping and committing um, while he's turned around. Maybe he, honestly, Mario's back is really solid in this game as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he threw out a back air right there, but crossed up Razo and threw it, did not throw instead. Oh, what are you doing? Why would you drop shield there? Hey, man, Razo held shield for a long time against so many up smashes. Sometimes, you know, you can't hit them all. Eventually, one will break through for Master Mario, and it will take first blood of this game three, four, rather. Okay, oh, and I like that. Expanding the second jump, resetting on the platform, getting a few more up airs, and he tried to uh, end Razo's second stock with a forward air. I like the aggressive play from Master Mario. Right, nice there from 
Peraza is going to be able to just be a good get off me tool for him. Able to get the stock with it as well. That's right. Gets the roll read from the ledge and uses the nair to close out the stock. But 81%. Easy, easy uh, deficit to bring back with, with Peach. Just, you yeah. know, one good combo. Especially if you have uh, the regular turn up. Peraza yeah, needs to be careful though. He is stealing out his roll. That is a new thing we see in this game. It looked like it was starting to take effect against him. Gets clipped by a fireball and still able to make it back to ledge. And the ledge traps begin again. I messed him around, throw out these backers, but unfortunately he was a little bit too close to so it. Isn't able to come out before the down air for Raza. Mm -hmm. Low cancel, good tomahawk. Yeah, that was really smart for Raza. He's been using these floats to, you know, pressure with like nair and down air and things like that. If I'm Raza and I see Master Mario charging up smash on my shield, I don't want to do anything. But that man is braver than I am as he jumps out of the situation. Okay, another up smash on the shield, but uh, we see a back air come out super quick for Master Mario. And a dash attack connecting for Razo as well. More turnips being thrown. Catches with an up air. And stalling out because he knew that up smash was coming. Yeah, definitely. I would have got hit with that up smash. Right there. What do you do? Oh, he's so crazy. Back throw, easy stock. I don't know about easy stock, but that will be the move that can finally close out. These stocks have been quite close. In, in really no one's favor. And just like that, Massimo evening it up once again. That's right. And we see, we find ourselves with these players, you know, being at these similar percents, similar stocks. No one player really extending their lead too far uh, throughout this set. But now you can see the combo game for Master Mario started even resetting with Off an up tilt. And it's not going to do it. That's right. You got to be careful with those multi hits. I really thought that was it. We saw it. Right you know here. what? So did the switch. The switch thought it was the the end of the game as well. And Razo actually gonna get up into the forward slash, but gonna get the showdown time. Now he needs to be he needs to be careful with the way he's getting off these ledges. He's using neutral get up a lot, and you know that Master Mario is taking an account for that. All right, jumping off the ledge that time, and an up smash going to connect. Oh, yeah. chasing up with the down air. Honestly, that's the Master Mario special right there where you back here's your shield, and then when you attempt to uh, shield grab it, you get up smashed for it. Is that going to be a back throw? Not, shouldn't take the stock just yet. And with 151, Master Mario has a couple options, especially at the, this, these corners. Yeah, and these back are just coming out such a huge threat to Razo. Okay, back air connects, and Master Mario finds himself in a bad position. Directional oh. air dodge is going to... Oh, he did that. He doesn't lose it yet. Great recovery right there from Master Mario, but the back throw is going to force him off stage once again. The turnips come out. Here's Mr. Saturn. Saturn. And the up smash. <laughs> Mr. Saturn comes out again. Clutch from Razo. Oh, my God. That was... <laughs> that was actually ridiculous because he threw... Uh, he threw... Uh, Mr. Saturn down. Yeah. So even if Master Mario had committed to a move, uh, the Saturn would have just reset him back to neutral, allowing Razo to land that up smash. That was that's some that's some high IQ play right there. That was so clutch. That's right knowing there your items. Razo, I mean, that could have been such a different outcome of that. Even just that last situation there, if that wasn't a Mr. Saturn, if it was just a regular tournament. Like, we couldn't see Master Mario win that game, but unfortunately, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. It, it does work out in favor of Raza, which is taking us to game five. That's right, and we're back here on Pokemon Stadium 2, and we saw Master Mario get some uh, some good mileage out of those platforms. Yeah, like I was saying earlier, those platforms are perfect types for him to get a combo reset here. There it is off of the down here, gets the double jump off there afterwards as well. 61% on Terrazzo and counting, but Razo answered back. He actually doesn't get all the hits of the down air. Master Mario able to follow and get his own up air and start to have a combo off of it. And you can see right there, he op Master Mario opted to go for a forward air, like air dodge read, instead of just getting the guaranteed damage of the up B. Okay, ledge trap again from Razo. And wow, forcing the air dodge, but still not able to punish with the back air. Oh, oh, the trades! That was very interesting. Multi-hit moves playing, uh, clashing right there. Both of them just going to connect with a single launch and hit. Mm -hmm. Good spacing out from the back airs from Master Mario. Throwing out a lot of attacks at the ledge. Oh, charging up the up smash. Going to wait right 
right past that up smash and recover low. And another back throw from Raza going to put Master Mario off stage. Sniping with the turn up. We see another one. That should be the stock. Yeah, no, Raza taking a pretty solid lead here. 97%. He is in danger of things like an up smash, but a lot of Master Mario's, you know, safe options aren't going to be setting up to kill you. Mm -hmm. Okay, down air connects. And what's the tech chase going to be? Wow, okay, doesn't offer anything. But a down air on the shield is going to get punished with another down throw into Nair. We just see Razo extending oh, his lead. Uh, and for the first time in the set, we actually have a lead a from one lead. player. And honestly, Master Mario barely touched Razo on that last stock. It, was, it really felt like one opening was all it took for Razo to take that stock away from him. And we get another grab. There's going to be big damage, but using the super jump punch to uh, combo break. Ooh. Right, great back here. One stock down, two more to go for Master Mario to mount this comeback. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tagged. Okay, so he didn't actually have a second jump there. That was actually really scary for Master Mario. If uh, Raza was able to just get like the trade uh, over the ledge, uh, Master Mario, the game might have been over. Like That would have been the set. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a scary situation with his jump there. What? Oh, it's your shield! What is that shield Wait, damage? Here we go. Here we go. No, he doesn't get the second up air into the up B. And he even with the pun the grab uh, to get the reset. And then Razo, you know, wise decision to recover low. He knows that Master Mario is not going to be able to chase him down. Even dodging with the parasol a little bit. Master Mario right now looking like he does oh. not want to lose. I kind of expected just a forward smash there. Yeah, I was expecting just like a charge forward smash. Just try and get the two frame from the ledge. Ooh, oh, we see a lot more Toad, but oh, oh no. no. And that's yeah. really scary because, you know, he threw the fireball out, saw how strong it was when Razo countered it the first time. So even the threat of Toad forced him to air dodge, even though the Toad didn't connect. He goes a little low and loses the stock in the no, set no, for him. Well, Master Mario not able to clutch out game three. A little bit anticlimactic the way it ended, especially with the way that the other, like, games two yeah. through four had ended. Oh, my God. Those were... Those were some slobber knockers right there. But <laughs> game five looked pretty solid in favor of Razo. That's right. With a, uh, I mean, but you can't, you couldn't, you can't count out Master Mario. No, definitely not. I mean, we saw earlier, or we saw it, you know, he started to look for the platform reset combos mm -hmm. that we were talking about. Yep. He just barely missed it. And if he had hit that though, it could have been a very different game five. We That's saw right. these 